Last year, my cousin was getting cyber bullied, bullied in school about her weight, how she looked, her hair, and everything. She she had nobody to talk to. Yeah, can you speak a little bit about how she dealt with it or how what she was going through before she had help? Well, she actually committed suicide. How old was she? Twelve. In September of 2010, my son Tyler Clementi started his freshman year at Rutgers University and he was live streamed in a sexual encounter with another man. If you're not like the ideal, you're not really anything really to most people. We just picked this kid and had no good reason. His um, Roommate then went about tweeting about the encounter, as well as po putting posts up on other social media, um, inviting many others to come in and join just that very personal, private moment. This girl was posting anonymous comments on my pictures, saying how I was ugly and fat. I always get body shamed um, for being thick or being too big. And it was at that point that Tyler's reality became very twisted and distorted, and he couldn't find the support that he um, had available to him. They told me that I should go kill myself. He felt isolated and alone, and because it had been shared with hundreds of people, he felt like the whole world was against him. He uh, made a terrible decision that Joe and I can never change. And on September 22, 2010, uh, Tyler died by suicide, and he was only 18 years old. Tyler Clemente's legacy is what brought us together, and why AT&T partnered with the All-American High School Film Festival to challenge filmmakers to create stories about cyberbullying. In August of 2016, the partners behind this initiative gathered to discuss how they can work together to put an end to this epidemic. We have someone who's suffered through the greatest tragedy one can imagine. We have the city of New York, we have AT&T. So it is a community right here coming together to help really hundreds and thousands of students, not just from New York, not just from America, but from around the world. Students spend a lot more time alone, uh, just by themselves. And what they have is their companion, is a computer, a cell phone. And they tend sometimes to communicate with these things in ways that are not appropriate, but also not knowing the end result. I, as a chancellor, some of the most horrific phone calls I get from principals is when a child has been bullied, particularly cyberbullying, and has done something terrible. We really wanted to see how we can change behavior online um, and encourage people to be more kind and civil, but also point out the dangers that can be caused by, uh, by mean behavior online. So we brought together 30 teams from around the country to create narrative films in New York City based on their unique cyberbullying experiences. The film is an incredible medium for young people to influence young people. It's that peer-to-peer -peer contact because the use um, by young people of creating a film, it's something that people really respect and so we believe very strongly that it's a great way to propel social action. This is an epidemic and this is a serious, serious problem that we have and um, I think we're finally waking up and realizing that.